In this quick review, we want to start talking about simple interest. And before we begin our discussion of simple interest, let's give some basic definitions. First off, what is interest? Interest is the dollar amount that we get paid for lending money or for borrowing monies. Okay. The amount of money that we deposit or borrow is what we call the principal. All right. So basically, think about the principal as how much I deposit in the bank today or how much the bank loans me. Okay. And interest is what is paid on top of that money. Okay. Then the amount of interest that you have to pay or get paid depends on the principal. So how much you deposit and the interest rate, right? Which is going to be given as a percentage, but you'll see later on, we're going to have to convert that to a decimal when we do work problems and varies from bank to bank and the length of time for which the money is deposited. So then simple interest, which is what we're working on today. This involves interest calculated only on the principal. So how much you deposit or how much you borrow. We'll talk about other types of um, interest in, in, in later videos where you're getting interest on interest. All right, so there's going to be two formulas in this quick review, and then we'll work a problem for each. And this is the first formula we're going to work with. All right, so to calculate simple interest, okay, so this is just to figure out how much interest you are owed or paid. It's just equal to this. Interest is equal to the principal, so how much you deposit or borrow, times whatever the interest rate is, times the time. So I'm going to denote it as I for interest, P for principal, lowercase r for the interest rate, and lowercase t for the time. All right. The rate, r, is expressed as a decimal when calculating simple interest, and t is going to be expressed in years. Okay, So I'll work an example where it's a full year, and then I'll work an example where maybe it's just a couple months, and we'll talk about how you handle that. All right, so here's the first problem. Suppose you deposit $2,000, all right, in a savings account at Hometown Bank, okay? So some made up bank, which has a rate of 6%. So let's find the interest at the end of the first year, okay? So we have this formula. Interest is equal to principal times rate times time, all right? So I'm asking us to find the interest. So the first thing you have to look at is, well, how much did you deposit? That's our principal, all right? So I'm gonna take $2,000. What is my interest rate? Well, they're giving me 6%, so you just have to convert that to a decimal. So it's 0 0.06. And then T is the time, well, how many years? Well, I just wanna find it at the end of the first year. So times one. If you need your calculator for this, that's okay. I'm gonna grab our our, our TI calculator here. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my $2,000, multiply it by that 0 0.06, and then I'll even multiply it by one, just so you can see. And basically at the end of the first year, the bank is gonna give you $120 for having deposited that $2,000 into the bank. All right, let's look at another problem or another formula. Next formula here is the following. The future value, okay, so how much your money is worth in the future, and we're going to denote that as A, of P dollars, so I'm going to deposit P dollars at a simple interest rate R for T years is given by this. The future value is equal to P times, this is a 1, plus the rate times time. P can also be known as the present value, or think about it as the, the initial deposit, all right, or initial principal. All right, so basically what this is saying is like, oh, if I, you know, put it away, you know, $10,000 and I'm getting 5% for 15 years, how much will I have 15 years later, okay? All right, let's do one quick example of this. So a loan of $1,060 has been made at 6.5% for three months. Find the loan's future value. So what this basically means is it's asking how much do you pay back in total? After three months. 
all right? So I'm going to use this formula. The future value is equal to the initial deposit, or in this case, the initial amount we borrowed, times 1 plus the rate times time. All right. Well, let's see what's given. How much did we initially borrow? $1,060. Okay. What is the rate? Well, as a decimal, it's 0 0.065. Now here, this is interesting. What is the time, all right? So the time is in the number of years. Hmm, but I'm only borrowing for three months. I'm not even borrowing for a full year. Well, how many months are in a year? 12, and this loan is only for three of the 12. So if you do three divided by 12, that simplifies to one fourth. And this totally makes sense. You're borrowing for a quarter of a year. So now, whenever you're given a situation like that, like in terms of months, you can convert that to number of years by dividing the months by 12. So let's figure out how much we have to pay back, the future, the loan's future value. So it's 1,060 times one plus my rate, which is 0 0.065, and then my time is 0 0.25. Well, let's grab our calculator. And in this problem here, we're doing 1,060 times, and then I'll start a set of parentheses, 1 plus 0 0.065 times 0 0.25, and then I'll close the parentheses. And I'll round it to two decimal points. So after three months, I'm going to have to pay back, even though I borrowed $1,060, I'm going to have to pay back $1,077.23. All right, class, we'll continue with these quick reviews by next investigating different types of uh, other types of interest.